All right, guys. Uh, Renell has just a few minutes, so let's uh, let, let's um, go have questions for for him. Yes, hi, Renell. This is Alan from the Alan Air Sports Talk Radio Show. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure, and, Alan. Yes, that's great to to meet you here and just talk about this big game. You have a huge game coming up. Are you? Has it surreal for you now, or are you relaxed and just looking forward to execute? Um, it's still surreal right now. Uh, it's been forty eight hours since the game. Uh, you know, still soaking in. You know, being South Division champs. Uh, we still have two weeks for the game to come up. So right now, uh, it's a big part where we're we're uh pretty much putting in game plans. You know, get recovering our body. So that's big on the process right now. But definitely looking forward to May thirteenth. Rennell, how you doing? This is Kyle Nash. Um, I'm with the Three Point Conversion, but I also write for the Black and Gold Banner Red. So go Knights! I had to throw that in there. Probably only so nice. Only a matter of time before you and I uh, cross paths. With that in mind, but um, uh, to throw that in there, first of all, you know we were talking to Donald Payne earlier. He said that kind of the key to you guys uh, getting that championship win was getting hot at the right time. Um, what do you think was that spark? that got you to over the hump and into uh, take the rough nets out and become South division champions. You know, I just pretty much uh, what we've been emphasizing the whole week during practice, uh, just pretty much everyone playing a full perfect game. You know, of course, it's the game of football. They're going to be Emmys, MAs and mistakes. But like our coach, coach always say, you know, if, you know, if everyone's on the same page and, and that's physical mindset, mentality, you know, we're going to go out there and we're going to perform to our best. So I think that was a key thing, you know, coming into last week's game. You're kind of asking a question that's kind of a, a bigger picture concept. Uh, you're a guy that's played for a, a number of different leagues in different spots. I remember even some time with the AAF, even if I uh, remember correctly there. Correct. Oh, yeah, correct. Um, what do you think is different about the XFL and your experience there? And and um, what what is it? What is it that stands out to you that you kind of enjoyed more in your XFL experience here? Um, definitely that, that sticks out more is the support from the fans. You know, the fan base is much bigger. And also with the XFL, you know, having the names behind it, you know, the rock is behind it. Um, that's pretty much every kid's idol growing up. So, you know, just his brand being behind it, you know, the Under Armour brand, I think that plays a, a big, tremendous part you know, in fans, you know, rallying and tuning into our games. Now, you've had a lot of stops throughout your career. I think I read something where you played for six different leagues. I don't, correct me if I'm wrong on that or not. Um, uh, no, I didn't play for six different leagues, but I played for numerous, correct. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, but just the feelings of playing for a championship now um, throughout all the adversity or just the steps in your career that you've made, what's it like to finally be on this stage? Um, it's surreal, man. I actually never played for a championship game at a professional level. Um, you know, the last time I've been in a, a big game was in college of uh, Fiesta Bowl, which was in 2013. So it, it's been quite a while. That's actually 10 years ago. No, 2014, mistakenly. 2014. So it's been nine years since uh I've actually played on a in a championship platform game. Uh so this is a big game, man. Uh, um, like I said earlier, it's still surreal. I'm still soaking in the wind. You know, just to being on this opportunity, um, I had a talk with Terrence Plummer. He's also a former Knight, and he just pretty much mentioned it to me again. Like, bro, do you realize you're in a championship game? So, you know, like I said, I'm still soaking in that feeling, but definitely going to be ready for game day. And it hasn't been the easiest road for Arlington. You guys finished four and six, never won back-to-back -back games, but you got hot when you needed to. You dominated Houston. Um, is, resili is resiliency the right word to describe this team? Oh, yeah, most definitely, man. Resiliency uh, and grit, you know, like uh, like I said earlier, you know, we haven't – I know the potential of our team, you know, the weapons we have both on offense and defense, but it's just been putting both offense, defense, and special teams together. You know, we'll have a game where the defense does great, offense doesn't pour, does poor, where offense does poor, where the defense does poor, offense does great. So um, I feel like this previous game we just played, we were all able to come together as one unit, you know, and just successfully, you know, make plays at the right moment. And also coming into the game, we all knew what was at stake. It was do or die, you know, it was a playoff game. So, you know, just coming to the game, just the mentality, and we were all able to come out there and compete and, you know, just make plays when plays needed to be made. And that was the result, a win. 
Ronell, I was I was covering that UCF team at that I was at the Fiesta Bowl when you guys won that game. Yeah, you look um, familiar. <laughs> well, yeah, a little yeah. grayer now than I was back then. <laughs> yeah. um, but I, you know, getting a ring from that that game and 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 finishing the season you did, what would a ring here in the XFL championship game? What did that mean for you uh, this time around? This would mean a lot, man. Like I said, uh, this is a professional level, so you know, just being able to uh, win in any game at a professional level is difficult. So you know. Being in a championship alone is a big thing, but being able to get the victory and win a ring, man, that be tremendous, man. Especially with my, my teammates, man. I love the, just going out there and being able to reap the benefits. You know, would be lovely. How much? I'm sorry. How, how much is uh, of You know, where you guys are, uh, and uh, Donald talked a little bit about this earlier, you know, experience, whether it's in college or, or in the NFL or stuff all the way. How much is that really? Benefit you guys this year and make this run toward uh, you know, just being able to share that knowledge, you know, and you could tell the guys are definitely feeding in, you know, when they have inputs, you know, we all can learn from one another. It doesn't matter the age, you know, the experience, only the position, room, know, but the just the team in general. First year back for you? Um, Major, you mean like from like a football standpoint? Yeah, like just for you, just being in this league, you know, uh, we were talking to uh, uh, Payne just a couple of uh, minutes ago. He was saying the speed of the game is, you know, it's as close to the NFL as he's seen, even compared to the USFL. Uh, Any major takeaways of just playing the game experience-wise or just week-to-week, the grind of it? Uh, Yeah, I mean, pretty much things are just similar. Like I said, uh, everything's professional. Uh, you know, most of the guys who play in this league, they've had a stint in the NFL, if not recently came from the NFL. So not too much of a difference in that. But personally, you know, I just it's just embracing the moment, man. Just being where my feet are, you know, football doesn't last forever. You know, we all got to come to a specific age where, you know, the game comes to an end. So, you know, my big thing, um, big take coming in this year has just been like just embracing the moment. You know what I'm saying? Being where my feet are, um, you know, waking up every day, being grateful to play this game, you know, and like they say, like my coach once told me, you don't want to, you get to play this game. So, you know, just, just soaking in and feeling, man. Yes. Right now, I just wanted to follow up on that. Terrence Plummer is actually a good. That's my guy, Terrence Plummer. Talk about TP. him. TP. That's right. That's my brother. Talk about him. The fact that he was able to call you and motivate you on a game that he's not playing in, but the fact that you and him had that connection from you. you... Yeah, man, Terrence Plummer, man, we, we we were roommates in college. So you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, there's a friend and then you have friends on a personal level. He's definitely one of those friends on a personal level. Um, and he's one of those guys, you know, I can pretty much come to and talk to about anything, you know, whether it's emotions, football, family, whatever it is, you know, he's someone I can definitely open up to. Um, so yeah, you know, he gave me a call after the game, told me congrats. And like I said, it wasn't until afterwards he was like, bro, do you know you're playing for a championship game? You know, and it's just all soaked in. So, you know, I appreciate him for that. He's always been a, you know, uh, that mentality, that friend who's outgoing. You know what I'm saying? He, he was always the one to to step up, speak in front of the team, you know, be the team leader. He was a team captain at UCF. So, you know, he's definitely a friend that, I, that has helped me grow personally, you know, both on and off the field. Renell, I've I got two UCF questions. My first one is your thoughts on the program as it's continuing to grow now heading to the Big 12 Conference. Oh, man, they 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 fancy now, man. We we had GOL back in our days. But nah, seriously, uh, you know, the, the program is doing a tremendous job, you know, you know, not so not only on the field, but you know, just from a media standpoint, um, you know, which plays a big deal in today's uh uh football um you know it's 2023 you know the game has changed now 
So, you know, they're making that that upward trail, you know, toward success. Uh, you know, I wish them the best this year. Um, you know, UCF for life. So, you know how that goes. Yeah. Uh, second question is obviously the, the landscape of college football has changed so much over the last couple of years. Um, players are now able to capitalize on their name, image, and likeness. I'm curious to know your thoughts on that and if you wish you had that back when you were there. Oh, yeah, most definitely, man. But uh, like I said, man, I was thankful for the opportunity and you know, the things that we had going on during our years at UCF. Uh, like I said, the game has changed, you know, from a media standpoint. Um, so, you know, I wish those, the the kids out there that's playing right now, the younger dots, uh, you know, more to their favor uh, nowadays, you know, being able to successfully promote their themselves, you know, not only on the field, but off the field, you know, with the hashtags, you know, it's one thing UCF did with the, the Twitter names on the back of the jerseys. Yeah. So they're doing a great job at promoting those, um, the players. See, Jared's opened the floodgates. I feel like I have to ask this question now. <laughs> Uh, since you were a key team, uh, a key member uh, of that team that won the Fiesta Bowl against Baylor that you mentioned in 2013 and all that, you kind of have a unit of UCF being fancy, as it were. How does it feel to have that essential, yeah. uh, kind of that essential, be part of that, that essential? It feels great, man, you know, um, to make history with the school and um, like a big thing nowadays, uh, you know, those – the new coaches who came in, the players, you know, one thing that the coaches stand on is making sure they're very knowledgeable on to where this program is today and how it got there. So it's always home every time we go back. You know, every time I go back, I've been back to UCF recently. You know, the players know I am like, hey, you're speedy, aren't you? You know what I'm saying? It's a good feeling, you know, just to know they know where the program came from. So it's a great feeling, man. I mean, a guy named Speedy playing next next to Adrian Killens at least for part of the season this year is is a sight for anybody who's playing UCF. And the last UCF thing I'll I'll bring into this conversation: the painting behind me is an Aaron Evans original. So I'll leave that at that. There. Oh, dope, dope. That's what's up. That's dope, man. I like it. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Appreciate right. you. Just yeah, another quick I question: I asked uh, Mr. Payne the same question. Uh, is there a pre-game routine that you normally do? And if so, what is it? And are you going to switch it up or do something different because it's a championship? No, nah, I mean, I'm I'm not so very uh, superstitious when it comes to things like that. You know, I always – one thing I do keep mandated, you know, I say my prayers, I speak to my mom and my dad. I'm pretty much good. It's not like a – a specific song I listen to or anything like that. You know, as long as I thank the man above, you know, I speak with my parents, you know, it's go time after that. And okay. for yourself personally, what do you want to do to make sure that you don't, I know it's a big, huge game, but what do you want to do during this game to make sure you stay within yourself? Uh, You know, just treat it like any other game, man. We've been playing this game since we were six years old. So it's not something new to us, you know, just like any other game. Of course, the results are bigger, the the rewards behind the game. But, um, you know, we just going out there playing football. is nothing new. But now you mentioned that you've gone back to UCF. It's changed a little bit, obviously, with the facilities and stuff like that. Does it, does it, you, you think back about wishing maybe you had some of the stuff that they have now that you probably – you wish you could have had back in 2013? Uh, no, not really. Like I said, UCF under construction forever. They, they say that's what it stands for, man. So, uh, you know, just going back to my alma mater, you know, seeing the updated facilities, uh, you know, I I love it. You know what I'm saying? Because those, those students, they deserve that. You know, the hard work that they put in, you know, on a daily basis. So just being able to go back, uh, look at the updated facilities, you know, the treatment, uh, the uniforms, you know, I love it for those guys, you know what I'm saying? And we, we, we the veterans, uh, alumni, we reap our benefits by seeing those uh, guys go out there and perform and knowing that, you know, we started a standard for those guys. Well, now, I asked Donald this a, a little while ago about the why, you know, why why play, why why come back? You know, he he talked about his time in the NFL and even it was short, you know, it, he still, you know, he still had the, the, the passion to come back. For you, what what was the why to come back this year and play? Um, I it's just one of those things like I I just have passion. I have passion for the game of football. You know, um, like I said, it doesn't stand for it doesn't last forever. So 
why not take advantage of these opportunities that I have in front of me? Uh, you know, um, it's I've been playing football since I was six years old. You know, as you get older, you see the ratio of, you know, people making it to the next level goes down. So why not be grateful for this opportunity? You know, God bless me with this gift, this talent to play football. So I'm definitely going to show it off, you know, and give it all I got until the day he says, you know, it's over. Awesome. Hey, guys, thanks. Thanks, for now for taking the time. Uh, luck, thanks, thanks, everyone, for jumping on. Hey, thanks, Rennell. Good, for luck, right. good luck. This all right, thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Thank you, man. I appreciate you guys. Yes, sir. Thanks, Rennell. Good to meet you, bud. All right, bro.